Yo guys, it's your boy Jay coming in with another Gears of War video today. I'm going to be just talking about everything we know about Gears of War E-Day so far. So let's get into this. First thing we do know is it's not going to be a spin-off, but a new entry in the mainland of the Gears of War saga, which is good. The next thing is the coalition is the content with the story told in Gears of War and 5. is isn't abandoning them, but making this game was an opportunity that felt too good to be missed. Meaning that it was too good to be missed as it could make a whole new game around the story of the Emergence Day, which is mad, which I really wanted anyway. The team is looking to recreate and improve the series classic cover shooting revisiting of the tone of the older Gears War with truly next gen tech meaning using Unreal 5 and turning it back into that gritty, gory, terrifying and brutal game again which is so dope. The next thing is it takes place 14 years before the first game tackling how an ill prepared Zero response to a surprise locust invasion meaning the emergence day where the locust attack. The next one is the very initial in recasting the locust not simply as foes but as living nightmares so bit our gal one was where it was really terrifying and brutal like I said earlier. Next one is the design team prioritised redefining the locust drone which had become simply fodder as the series progressed into something fearsome physical intimidating and oily brutal meaning that as the gears of war series went on he wants so much terrifying and brutal as he was in the original games which i'm so glad they're taking the locust drone back to that where he was terrifying and scary and like nightmarish like he was in the first games the next one is the fear of encountering the locust for the first time is the central to the game which meaning obviously reliving the locust when you first ever seen them again like you did in gears of war one the next one is a hint that the origin of the lancer chainsaw etc will be a part of the story meaning the mk2 lancer will definitely make a return in gears of war e day the narratives follow the early stage of marcus and dom's brotherhood bonding over the loss of dom's older brother carlos who was close with marcus basically dom's brother was close to marcus as much as he was Dom. The next one is over 100 times more environment and character details than Gears 5 hardware, ray tracing, lighting, reflections and shadows, next generation destruction and gore and cutting edge animations and technology. So basically getting a whole new system of animations, shadows, light and reflections and everything else with the new Unreal 5 in engine that looks absolutely insane. I cannot wait to see this game in Unreal 5. It's going to look absolutely amazing. But yeah guys before we go i just wanted to let you know that there's a gears of war e-day t-shirt on the gears of war website right now it got released yesterday after the trailer dropped and after the expert showcase if you do want to see this t-shirt or buy this t-shirt it's on the gears of war website i'll be putting the link in the description that's everything we know about the gears of war e-day so far guys hopefully you guys did enjoy the video let me know in the comments below what you guys thought and i'll see you guys in the next one peace